Hi, my name is Kai Armstrong. I'm the product manager for the editor group in the Create Stage of the DevOps lifecycle here at GitLab, and I wanted to share um, something we've got upcoming in the 13.0 release, but uh, there's a sneak preview on GitLab.com, and so I thought I would uh, go ahead and show this off. So I'm gonna share my screen here. Um, we are gonna share. Ah, we'll share this whole screen. Cool. Um, this is a long time requested feature at GitLab. I think the, the original request is, uh, it's in the top 10 of the most upvoted features and uh, has been around open for, for nearly four years, I think. And so I'm really excited to get this into GitLab 13. Um, and what we're talking about is version control for snippets. And so snippets look um, much like they've, they've looked forever, um, but I'll show you kind of the new differences here and what we're talking about. And so, um, I'm just going to make a new snippet here, um, put a title. We're going to leave out a description for now. I don't really need to do that. Um, we'll just call this uh, demo.markdown and then uh, demo snippet. And I'm going to set this to public so it'll be world readable. And this is on GitLab.com, so I'm not doing anything locally. So if you're a user of GitLab.com, you can go and do this today. Um, I'm going to create this snippet. And here it is, here's the snippet that I've created. So a lot of this looks the same, um, but what you'll notice that's new in the UI is this, this blue clone button. And so uh, I'll go ahead and copy the URL to, to clone this. Uh, I'm gonna come over here and we'll just we'll start that out. take almost no time at all. But um, what you see is the clone button. And so what this represents you know, is for users who've been looking for it is version control. And so we now um, move all of the snippets to get back repositories. And these repositories are now um, accessible via local clone. So you can check these repositories out. You can clone them, you can work on them, you can push back up to them. Um, snippets still only support one file. Uh, we're you know, looking at the next several iterations and, and introducing multiple files, but um, for right now, they still only support one file, but you do get a version control here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, I've cloned that, I'll just check it here. So you can see there's my file, we'll edit that. Uh, okay, so we've written that. We'll uh, get add, get commit. Oops. Locally, and we'll do a git push and push that back up. Uh, and so I'll refresh this snippet over here. And you can see that we push this back up and that line was added back into it. Uh, if I come back over here, we'll, uh, we'll do this. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of that directory. I'm gonna clone this one more time. Just, we'll, uh, oops. I'll clone this one more time. I'll go into it. Do a git log and you'll see that there's the initial commit that we made through the um, editor and then here is a change that we made locally and um, if i were to do uh, edit this snippet one more time uh, go ahead and save that fresh it's there now we'll do a git pull here so cap the demo file, you can see the change name. We'll do a git log here. Oops. And you can see that there was another update commit made. So really excited to get version control in the snippets in 13.0. Uh, this will be shipping on gitlab.com. Um, all new snippets if you create them, they should have this functionality. Existing snippets will get migrated over um, between now and the end of the 13.0 release. And then for self-managed instances, it'll roll out when you upgrade to 13. We'll do a background migration to move all your snippets over. So um, really excited about this. If you've got any feedback for us, please let us know. Otherwise, um, we'll uh, see you when 13.0 drops.